The next stitch I'm going to show you is the triple crochet stitch. This is the final stitch we have to learn to crochet. To do this stitch, we need to skip four chains. One, two, three, four. So we will go into the fifth chain from the hook. To do this stitch, we yarn over twice. So yarn over, yarn over. Then we go down into our chain and pull up a loop. And now pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through again. Now we will continue on in each of the chains along the foundation row. Yarn over twice, looks like that. Go down into our chain, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to go all the way across. This is what our stitch looks like. Remember that we yarn over twice. That's the difference. Go down into the chain and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go all the way across to the end, and we're going to remember that when we get to the end of the row, we'll be chaining four. Now I've reached the end of the row, so we're going to do the chain four. And turn. Now remember, with this stitch, that chain four counts as your first stitch in this new row. So we'll do our next stitch into the second stitch of the row below, like so. That's of course to keep our edges straight. So with this stitch, we need to remember to chain four at the end of the row. And remember that, that chain four counts as a stitch, so when we come back across, we'll do our last stitch in the top chain of this chain four, right here. I'll show you that in a moment. Now I'm to the end of the row. I'm going to show you how that looks. We'll do the stitch here, but this isn't our last stitch because our chain four counts as a stitch. So we do our last stitch in the top of this chain four. And then we'll go ahead and chain four and do the chain four and turn. And now this counts as the first stitch in this row. So we will go and do our next stitch into the second stitch. That's all of the stitches that you need to know in crochet. We'll be learning variations and how to go into circles and squares as you go into the advanced course. We'll do our chain four at the end. And doing this stitch, we'll go along quite a bit faster because this stitch is a little bit taller. Now we're going to do a wrap in this stitch because I think it'll go quickly enough to make it a fun and very fashionable project.